Tense twists and turns in Malaysia as political parties work to form a government. The leaders of Pakatan Harapan and Perikatan Nasional met today with the king. Plenty of rumblings about what could be coming, but no official announcement from the king or the palace. Anwar Ibrahim and Muhyiddin Yassin left their meetings without revealing anything to the media. Mr Anwar stressed that there's no decision yet from the palace, despite excitement among his team and supporters. Names for the top job have been submitted, and it's now up to the king's discretion. He's asked to meet tomorrow morning with the 30 elected MPs from former governing coalition Barisan Nasional. They've been asked to state who they support in the top job. PN leader and former Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin says that he declined a request from the king to form a unity government with Mr Anwar. Mr Muhyiddin is adamant that he will not join forces with Pakatan Harapan. Malaysia's general election on Saturday resulted in a hung parliament with no party or coalition securing a simple majority of seats. Kami tidak akan bekerjasama dengan PH, Pakatan Harapan. Itu pendirian parti kita sejak dulu sampai ke hari ini. Atas tujuan apa sekalipun, unity ke apa semua sekali, kita putus, kita tak bersuju. CNA correspondent Safifa Arifin and Tansa Hui are standing by with the latest. Let's start things off with Afifa. She joins us live from Petaling Jaya in Selangor. Afifa, the king is expected to meet MPs from Barisan Nasional tomorrow morning. How is this going to help him make a decision on who will form the next government? That's right, Don. The wait continues. There is no decision made yet on which parties will form the government and who will become Malaysia's 10th Prime Minister. Of course, this comes after the leaders of Perikatan Nasional as well as Pakatan Harapan met with the king at about 4.30 p.m. Uh, today. And so, because, you know, neither of them can could command a clear, simple majority, the next step of the process is for the king to meet with all 30 Barisan Nasional MPs. And this will be a face-to-face -face session with each individual MP. And that's scheduled to take place as early as 10.30 uh, a.m. Uh, tomorrow. Now, the purpose of this process, of course, is for the king to be able to decide who he feels can command the majority support of members in parliament according to the constitution. Now, we know that with 30 seats, Barisan Nasional are seen, is seen as the kingmakers this time around. It's an unprecedented situation that the formal grand old party of Malaysia is currently in. We saw the statements from some of the top party leaders coming out after two days of very intense meetings, even with the Pakatan Harapan coalition. We saw Caretaker Prime Minister Ismail Sabri, who is also the UMNO Vice President, tweeting that UMNO accepts its position as the opposition and it will not give support to either Pakatan Harapan or Perikatan Nasional. We also saw BN Secretary General Zamri Abdul Kadir saying that none of the BM MPs support uh, Perikatan Nasional's Muhyiddin Yassin as the Prime Minister candidate and that they are still open to discussing with other parties in order for them to form a strong government. Now, we know that both the leaders of Pakatan Harapan and Perikatan Nasional, as I said, uh, met with the king. You know, we've been out here waiting outside of Anwar Ibrahim's office in Selangor. Uh, he came by into the office right after coming out of the Sana. He spoke to the media um, after he exited the palace and he said that though no decision has been made, he is quite confident that he can still secure a majority Let's listen into what else he had to say. Saya junjung kasih uh, kerana tuanku tidak mengadap uh, untuk menyampaikan pandangan uh, tuanku bahawa um, uh, perlu ada kesepakatan kerjasama semua pihak supaya kerajaan itu kukuh dan boleh tumpu perhatian menjaga kepentingan rakyat dan memulih ekonomi. Nah. Dan kerajaan yang ditubuhkan kelak insya Allah harus mewakili semua pihak, semua kaum, semua wilayah. Jadi maknanya inklusif dalam hati kita sebenarnya. So for right now, you know, three days after polling day, things are still very fluid, very uncertain. There's no new government, there's no new prime minister. We'll just have to watch and see the developments that come up from the palace meetings tomorrow morning.
Now the waiting continues. Afifa, thank you for that update. Afifa Arifin there speaking to us live from Pataling Jaya in Salawa. Right, it's uh, live now to Tan Suhui, who is joining us from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Suhui, Mr. Muhyiddin, he earlier claimed that his Prikata National had more than 112 statutory declarations of support. Uh, so what happened with that? So just an hour ago, we, the media had a press conference uh, at Mr. Muhyiddin's house just right behind me, and he was flanked uh, by past chief Hadi Awang as well as senior caretaker minister uh, Azmin Ali. And he talked about and described his experience uh, with the Agong, and the Agong had encouraged him to form a unity government, so Perikatan Nasional and Pakatan Harapan forming a government together, but he insisted that this will not happen, that PN will not work with Pakatan Harapan. He says that he was even given a document to sign, and he says that he has not signed that document and he will not work with Pakatan Harapan. And that's the part he stands. Now, he also uh, talked about how he has 112 signatures. In fact, 115 signatures, he mentioned, that has been signed by MPs supporting uh, them and joining Perikatan Nasional to form the government. And so he's not sure what's happening at the moment and why he's not reached a simple majority of 112. Now, there could be a couple of reasons for that, because earlier in the day, uh, Barisan Nasional, it, it mentioned that it will not form an alliance with either Perkatan Nasional or Pakatan Harapan, and it said that it would form an opposition bloc. And this was said by caretaker Prime Minister Ismail Sabri. And so for them to say that they're not going to form an alliance, it means that it's not going to happen for Perikatan Nasional to have the simple majority because Barisan Nasional has 30 seats and either side needs that 30 seats to form uh, a simple majority. Now, another reason could be the fact that there is some unhappiness within certain parties that they do not want to join Perikatan Nasional. Now, earlier, GPS, which is a Sarakian party, it had said and expressed uh, the support to uh, form an alliance with Perikatan Nasional. It has 22 seats, but there have been reports that say that there are some members within GPS who aren't, uh, who aren't supportive of that alliance because Sarawak has quite a, a number of Christians, and so they do not want to work with a right-wing uh, Islamist party, which is PAS, which is a component party of Perikatan Nasional. And so there is this uh, confusion that's still happening, and that's why the Agong will need to meet with Barisan Nasional MPs, uh, 30 of them tomorrow, to really settle this. Mm. Now, all this uncertainty, I imagine, is a very frustrating process for the voters. Uh, we're also hearing that there's some content on TikTok calling for violence over the GE15. Did you hear anything about that? From what we understand, the police have said and encouraged people not to post racially um, charged content online. And they, and they are talking about some content on TikTok about May 13th, 1969 riots that happened after a general election. And they are telling people not to post such uh, posts because it would result in protests and, and violence, which is not what which is what people do not want to happen. And there's also sentiments on the ground saying that they really want to have an answer about who's the next PM because there's been so much confusion. They've been taken on a roller coaster ride since yesterday, since polling day, um, that certain leaders will be the next PM. And so it's been a roller coaster ride and they just want some certainty. So we have to wait for tomorrow for Agong to um, announce something. Thanks very much, Tan Suhui, speaking to us live from Kuala Lumpur.